Good evening, everyone. The Upper Peninsula has a national champion in downhill skiing. Sarah Rowe of Dollar Bay captured the girls' under-16 Supergiant Slalom race today at the Nationals in Park City, Utah. The 15-year-old Rowe is a member of the National Training Group, which trains in Park City. Her time was 55.36 seconds, winning by more than half a second. The Marquette Sentinels start the girls under 19 AA National Hockey Tournament on the right skate. Libby Doney scored a goal in the second period and the game winner in overtime as Marquette, the Sentinels, edged the Sabres from Naperville, Illinois 2-1 in Burlington, Vermont. Sydney Cornock assisted on the game winner at the 121 mark of a five-minute overtime. Hannah Riesland made 23 saves for the Sentinels. Marquette meets the Massachusetts Spitfires, hmm, say that one carefully, tomorrow at 2 o'clock in the next round-robin game. Michigan Tech head hockey coach Mel Pearson has been named one of the eight finalists for the Spencer Penrose Award as the NCAA Division I Men's Ice Hockey Coach of the Year. The nominees represent any coach who won or shared Coach of the Year honors in his conference this season, along with coaches who have led their teams to the NCAA Frozen Four semifinals. Just, Pearson uh, led really the Huskies to a 23-9-5 yeah. yeah. overall yeah. record for his second yeah. straight 20-win season. The first time the program has accomplished that feat since the early 1980s. He guided Tech to its first McNaughton Cup title since 1976. The, line, the nine losses by Tech this winter were the fewest by any Husky squad in 40 years and the sixth lowest total dating back to the mid-1940s. Three previous winners also are finalists, Michigan's Red Berenson, Nate Lehman of Providence, and Jerry York of Boston College. Voting will be conducted prior to the Frozen Four, and their winner will be announced next Wednesday, April 6th. The NMU hockey team will hold a free shooting and stick handling clinic run by players and coaches April 11th through the 14th at the Barry Event Center. Now on April 11th and 13th, the clinics are for mites and first year squirts. The April 12th and 14th sessions are for second year squirts, peewees and bantams. The clinic is open to players of all ability levels. Registration will begin at 415 in the afternoon. Attendees will receive on ice instruction from Wildcat coaches and players from 430 to 545 p.m. A player's classification will be what he or she played during the past season. On April 16th, Wildcat coaching staff will hold a free coaching clinic in the Wildcat room at the Barry Event Center from 9 in the morning until 1130. The coaching clinic is open to coaches of all levels. Co coffee and donuts will be served. For questions about either clinic, you can contact the NMU Hockey Office. That phone number, in case you don't have it memorized, is 906, of course, 227, of course, 10. 29. Information is available on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. I found it quite unusual as I was looking at the Tiger schedule today that they open the season next week with in Florida. Okay. Mm. With the Rays. Against the Marlins. Oh. Okay. Interleague game to start the season. It is unusual. Ew. They're looking a lot better this year, though. I have to say. Well, sure. It's still March. Still, the heat teams are doing that. Uh, yeah. Cubs are opening up against the uh, Angels, yes, I believe. They are. Yeah. Get them out of the way early. <laughs> yeah, Cubbies won five to one tonight, though, too. They're, they're yeah. looking pretty good, also. Don't let her take all Getting your Getting hot at the right time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, Mike.